All right, learning target four, last learning target of unit four. Um, we're talking about functions. We're going to talk about domain and range again, uh, this time in the real world context, all right? So before we go, why don't you just jot down, review domain and range in your own words. So pause the video here and then just remind yourself what is domain and range. Hopefully you're talking about the fact that domain are the x values, range is the y values. Um, and we're going to talk about that specifically and then in a real world, world context. So first, we'll talk about the different ways that we write domain. Sometime, domain and range. Sometimes we're only given points or you're only given numbers in a set. Um, so we write the domain and range in what we call a number set. So if I was talking about the domain here, um, we use brackets, and that was a terrible bracket. We use brackets to... Um, to make a set here of numbers. So the domain of this set of numbers, or of this graph, we have negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, all the way back up here um, on the x-axis. So that was negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, okay? Notice that I didn't write negative 5 through 5 because this is not continuous data. Our lines are not connected, so we don't have um, a data point at negative 4.5 or 2.1 or 3.2, okay? We only have these domain, these x values. Our range we have, a range, we have an, a y value at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we have a smaller range, another terrible bracket. Um, we have a smaller range of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Notice again, um, I did not write 0 through 5 because we don't have 1.2, 2.5, we don't have all of those numbers, okay? So sometimes your domain and range are given in sets like that. Um, moving on over to this next graph, and I'm just gonna make this smaller. Um, we have a continuous curve here from zero to 360. Um, and notice at the end of our line, we don't have arrows, okay? So we're gonna assume that that's where that line ends. So here we can write our domain as zero is going to be less than or equal to x. So x's are above or equal to zero, and then they are below or equal to 360. So everything in between zero and 360, it would be our domain. Our range we can write, our range would be um, from, we go from negative one to one. So again, negative 1 is going to be less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 1. y is in, are in between there. And finally, here, um, we have arrows on both of our lines. That means this is going on forever to the right, to the left, up and down. So our domain here would be infinity. That was a pretty bad infinity sign. I am struggling. Let's go that way. And our range would also be infinity. All right, so that's explicit domain and range. We also want to talk about domain and range in a more um, realistic, um, real world setting, okay? So here you have to kind of define what you think to be appropriate. So we're asked to define an appropriate domain and range for the problem that we did a while ago on Fahrenheit to Celsius, okay? So if you think about, let's think about Fahrenheit to Celsius in Iowa, okay? So we range probably from, I don't know, we can, we can range from negative, negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit um, to, we've, I've, I mean, we've seen it above 100, so maybe let's go 105 degrees Fahrenheit, because we usually just use degrees in Fahrenheit. Um, so that could be, that would be our, if I remember correctly, um, 
x was our, or our, yeah, our x was Celsius, and y was Fahrenheit, or it wasn't y, duh, it was f of x was Fahrenheit. So our domain would be, we'd have to look that up, our domain, we'd have to look up, and I'm just going to look it up online because, because that'll be easier. So Fahrenheit, we want to go from negative 20, that would be negative 28.88, so our domain would be negative 28 point, let's go negative 28.9 to be safe. It's going to be less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to what's 105 in Fahrenheit, or in Celsius, it would be 40 degrees. So 40.5 is our maximum Celsius. Our range then would have been what we just what we just figured out here um, would be our negative 20 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 105. Okay? So for class. Why don't you try to define an appropriate domain and range for hours spent studying on the test and the score earned in percentages and then numbers of t-shirts sold and profit. Um, take into account the cost of the business was 500 and let's say you sell each t-shirt for, um, let's say you sell each t-shirt for $15. Okay, so try that out.